Hi everyone, this is Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Group for Unit 1, uh, Part 2, Exercise 1.1. Uh, uh, unit 1 video, we to the Exercise 1.1, we uh, sharing the video on Our Exercise 1.1, uh, number 1, there are 5 parts. That's right. Uh, Mia counts on, Mia counts on is at. In steps of 100, and she starts at 946, write the next number she says. The, her, her next number is 946 plus 100, so 1046. The copy counts back is subtract in steps of 100. He starts at 1048, write the next number he says, so next number. 1048 minus 100 is 948. See, BB counts on in steps of 1000 at 1000. She starts at 1989, so her next number is 2989. The year counts back negative. Negative. Uh, in steps of 1000. Subtract 1000. He starts at, he starts at 9,999. So uh, his next number is 8,999. And E, Tara counts back negative and subtract in ones. She counts 3210 in negative. Uh, number two, copy and copy and complete this way using the rule H2 across is this one and H2 down is this one. What do you notice about the numbers on the diagonal? Or discuss with your partner, okay? Let's fill this number first. Okay. If we add two across and two down, our number will be like our numbers will be like this one, three, five, seven, nine. Okay. And what happened in the what happened in the diagonal? This diagonal, all, all the numbers are the same as nine. And this diagonal, this kind of diagonal, what happened? And they are one, five, nine. 13 and 17. So the difference between one is at four, at four, at four, at four. So we add across two and uh, add two down at the diagonal. The number becomes at four, becomes at four. Okay, this is a double of two, you know? two times two is four. So draw two more five by five square and choose a rule using addition. Predict what the numbers on the diagonal will before will be before you complete the squares. Remember, if you get mad, I'm gonna go follow more draw rule to go show you like bar two more how many is three or four or five. Remember, if you get mad, I'm gonna bar it to two more is five. Okay, please do yourself. Ah, this is number three. Choose any two of these three sequences any two of these three sequences, how are they similar to each other and how are they different? So let's find first the term to term. This is two, four, six, eight, at two. Two, five, eight, eleven, at three. This is three, five, seven, nine, at two. So the first one and the third one are, uh, uh, the same term to term rule. They have the same term to term rule as two. And first term and, uh, sorry, first sequence and second sequence, they have the same starting number two. Okay. Uh, now for a look at these sequences, which could be the odd one out? Odd one out is the different one. Explain your answer. So let's find the term to term rule. This is x3, x3, Negative 5, negative 2, S3 again. 9, 12, 15, S3. This is S3. So all the sequence, they have the same term to term rule. What is the difference? What is the odd one out is? 
this this sequence is the only one which includes negative numbers. And number five, use different first terms to make sequences that will that all have the term to term rule F3. And F3 is right term to term rule F. Uh, different first terms to told me the sequence is Eva. Can you find a sequence for each of the following? Part A, where the terms are all multiples of three. Okay, so six, nine, twelve, something like that. B, where the terms are not whole number, so you can start with the mixed number, one and a half, the four and a half, and so on. And C, where the terms are all odd. So, we use the term to term rule F3, our number will be uh, even and odd, alternate. So it is impossible to get all the terms are odd. Okay, this is impossible. And D, where the terms include both 100 and 127. So you can start with 100, 103, until you get 127, please. Like yourself. Okay, this is number five and number six. Abdul makes a number sequence. The first term of his sequence is 397. We start from 397. His term to term rule is subtract three. So his rule is subtract three. Don't hold on there. Eh? Abdul says if I keep subtract subtracting three from 397, I will eventually reach zero. I don't know why that chain matu are zero yoga abdul no. So is he correct? To be your explain your answer. So let's check his answer is correct or not. So uh, if we subtract uh, three like this, it will take a long time until we reach zero. So subtracting repeatedly is the same as uh, kind of division. So let's check 397 is divisible by three or not. Multiple of three or not. If it is multiple of three, uh, there will be a remainder zero. Okay, three times one, three, nine, three times three, nine, and seven, three times two is six. So we have the remainder one. So we can't reach zero. So uh, uh, what the Abdul says is incorrect. He can't reach to zero because there is a remainder. And number seven, which sequences are all linear, uh, are linear and which are not? Or linear chit out your we may, linear machit and non-linear your we may. Write the next term, next term you may. Each sequence, explain your answer to your partner. Okay, part A, add five. So every time, uh, the same amount every time, this is linear. I write L for linear, four, nine, 14, 14 plus five is minus G. B, subtract 4. So the same each time. This is also linear. 20, 16, 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. C, add 1 more each time. The same tip will be your power 1 is the non-linear. And 2, 3 is 1. 2, 5, 3, 5 is 2. Next time we have to add 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. Multiply by 3. The same each time. So linear. 2, 6, 18. 18 times 3 is 54. But is subtract one less each time. The J ma te yo vi to ba ma me so non linear. 50 41 is 9, 41 33 is 8. So the next term is we have to subtract 7. So 33, 7 subtract 3, 2, 3, 13, 3, 13, 7, 6, 26. 6. Divide. Divide by two. So this is linear. That it do have 16, 16, half and eight of this four. Okay. And number eight here is a special pattern. Draw the next term in the pattern. Draw the next term and the next term in the pattern. Now uh next term pattern was here is one square. Here is four square. So uh, down is two and across is two. This is three and this is three all together. Total is nine square. So our next term will be uh, across four and this term will be across four and down four. So all together, 16 squares. So let's write down one, 
Okay, I'll write this as four, four square. One, four, nine, sixteen. So, uh, what number does it represent? Does it represent? Or d d squared? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what about the result of all this? So, yeah, the number the numbers represent for the square number. So this is one square. This is two square, three square, four square. Uh, this is the last part of this is the last part of this uh this article this subtitle one not think like a mathematician these sets of beats have consecutive consecutive numbers in the circles consecutive numbers are next to each other for example three four five and six okay the numbers add up to the number in the square Three four five square is number nine. Or a base is number one two three four five. Or a three four five fifteen is number. We let's check one plus two three three plus three six six plus four ten ten plus five fifteen. Okay. You will show you are specializing when you identify examples that fit the criteria. The numbers add up to the numbers in the square. Or a d number is number two square is fifteen is so that go identify long and you are specializing. And you will show you are generalizing when you notice a way of finding the middle number. Or middle number go below shamle so that the k you are generalizing. So let's find the middle number. And then uh, this is error number. We divide this error number with the amount of bits. One, two, three, four, five. Five bits. So five times three is 50. So three is middle number. So we can get the middle number by uh, this way. No? Okay. Complete these sets of bits. There are two parts, A and B. A has three bits. B has uh, five bits. Okay, the add up number is 27, so we divide this with number of bits 3. 3 times 9 is 27, so our middle number is 9, before 9 is 8, and this is 10. Let's share, let's add an, uh, let's share this is 27 or not. 8 plus 9 is 17, and 10, this is 27. Okay, our numbers are correct. B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this add up number divided by number of bits 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Our middle is 5, 4, 3, 6, 7. So let's check uh, the error number is 25 or not. So let's make 10 plus 3 plus 7 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. And 5 plus 25. So our numbers are correct. 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, this way, this is we are generalizing like this. Okay, look what I can do. I can count on and back in steps of different sizes. Count on plus n plus n count on at n subtract in steps of different sizes. Yes, we can. I can extend linear sequences and describe term to term. Yes, we can. And I can recognize nonlinear sequences. Yes, I can extend patterns that represent square numbers. Yes, the last one. Okay, this is what we can do from what we have learned. Okay, thank you so much for your attention and so for your watching. If you see any mistakes, please let me know and I'll fix them later. See you in the next video. Thanks again.